President Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin met face to face for the first time yesterday at the G20 summit in Germany. The two discussed Russian meddling and the last election, of course, that's been such a huge talker, according to the Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. The president opened the meeting uh, with President Tr Putin by raising the concerns of the American people regarding Russian interference in the 2016 election. Uh, they had a very robust and lengthy exchange on the subject. Uh, the president pressed President Putin on more than one occasion regarding Russian involvement. Uh, president Putin denied such involvement. Joining me now, David Schwamm Baird, associate professor at University of North Florida in political science. So how do you think that meeting went between, we'll just start off with that, with him okay. and Vladimir Putin. Well, the question of whether or not uh, there was interference in the American elections, Putin was not going to say anything but no. Yeah, you're not surprised. Um, and that's not really the big news. Some of the other things that were more important, on the one hand, uh, there are commentators who are saying that not a lot was uh, achieved in terms of talking about Russia and Ukraine, which is still a sticking point with the United States. And uh, President Trump uh, said that we would continue sanctions until there was some resolution of that. On the other hand, one of the possible positive things that came out of that was uh, talk about Syrian uh, ceasefire zones that would be monitored by the United States and Russia. And that's going to start uh, tomorrow from what? And it's supposed to start tomorrow and uh, it's supposed to be the beginning point for finding uh, some peaceful areas that can start the resolution there. Uh, there have been attempts to do this in the past, so there's some skepticism, but there can be some optimism as well. So do you think it's going well or how would you say compared to past summits? Uh, well this is only one part of the summit and this is actually one of the bilateral meetings that uh, Trump is having. Uh, he met with French President Macron, he met with Prime Minister May of uh, Britain, uh, he's going to be meeting with a lot of other people. So the bilateral uh, meetings they're going to be different with each uh, uh, leader. And then there's the summit meetings. Now, one of the problems with the summit is that there are a lot of tensions going every which way. Uh, and there is uh, expectation of confrontation, especially on trade issues between the United States on the one hand and Germany and France on the other. Uh, the United States is... Uh, claiming that Germany is uh, exporting too much, their trade deficit or their trade surplus with the United States is too great. And uh, President Trump has said he wants to uh, rectify that. But President Trump's approach is one of protectionism. He wants to put sanctions on countries that he feels are having unfair trade advantages. Uh, but. That's a simple solution to a very complex problem. And do you think that he's going to have any confrontations with any of the leaders? Like I know Angela Merkel, that's been right. in the past. Well, he's going to have confrontations with Angela Merkel. One of the uh, ways that some commentators are parsing the G20 meeting is as a confrontation between nationalists and globalists. And Merkel is taking on the position of a globalist. We have to continue to have international cooperation, uh, we have to continue to advance free trade, etc. And uh, other countries, including the United States, seem to be moving in a much more protectionist direction, wanting to put on more taxes, tariffs, sanctions, etc. to countries they don't think are playing ball. Um, that doesn't always work and sometimes that has a tendency to backfire. It's a very um, it's a very chancy sort of policy to take. But we're having that with Germany, mm -hmm. and we're also having that issue, especially with China. Our biggest trade deficit with any one country is with China, which is five times bigger than our trade deficit with Germany. 
So there are issues that have to be ironed out there. We're going to have to watch out for that for sure. We are having to wrap, but we will, of course, keep you up to date with the latest political and world news. You can do that by going to newsforjacks.com. You can also find this interview online. It's going to be in the morning show section of News for Jacks. Thank you for coming on. Thank you very much for having me.